In this video, we take a look at how to create a church flyer or poster for a Good Friday or Easter festive season in Photoshop. And this is coming up. Hi everybody and welcome to the channel. It's Innocent here. Over here we make videos like this. If that is something that sounds like you're interested, kindly consider subscribing. So inside the description of this video will be a link to download all the resources that I'll be using in this video and mind you i got almost all of these resources from pinterest and from google so i'll leave a link to download all of them in the description if you want to follow suit and if you practice over and you want to send it over you can hit me up on instagram and then we can chat over there now let's get into photoshop and let's get some things done okay right here in the magic world of photoshop the first thing that we are going to do is we're going to create a new document so you press ctrl n to create a new document and depending on what you are basically using this for i chose to go for the a3 size here that is because i created this in the form of a poster that can be printed out so i'm going to click create over here and everything my canvas will be ready first off understand that this is going to be more of blending and manipulations rather than adding more test or let's say like normal images so we have our images the first thing we're going to do is we're going to establish a background so we go to file place embedded over here and then we are going to open our resources so these are the resources that we are going to use the first one that we're going to bring in here is this particular background beautiful resurrection background that i got from pinterest so after you bring it here you're going to open it up to fill the entire canvas something like that and then you take your time to position it as you want so i really want the bottom here to show up so i'm going to open it from the bottom like that and then i'm going to press ctrl a to make sure that it is centered both horizontally and vertically i'm going to double click over here i'm going to rename this one to number one so that it wouldn't keep my tabs that very long so i'm going to right click on it again and i'm going to rasterize the layer so that we can actually add a lot of things to this particular layer next thing i'm going to press ctrl plus shift plus l to auto level it so that it can be you can see that this looks quite darker than the original image that we brought in and still if this doesn't work for you you can press ctrl l and then you can add some more levels to it so something like this we want to actually get it a bit darker after this we go to filter blur and then gaussian blur over here and then we are going to apply a blur of 15.3 onto the background and then we can go ahead and click ok let's just go ahead and add some more levels to it so that it becomes way more darker and then we can click ok we go to the layer adjustment field over here and we are going to add a gradient map onto this one so we are going to select this particular gradient that i used this one right over here this is the first color and this is going to be the second color right over there you click ok and then you click ok from here now we go to the blend mode and we are going to set this to soft light the next thing we want to do is we go back to our resource and then we have some more backgrounds to use so this is one of the backgrounds that i also got from pinterest so we are going to bring this one in here right click and rasterize the layer we are going to double click and change the name to number two over here so we are going to place this one right at this place and open it up slightly like that go to the blending mode and we are going to set this to screen so after that we are going to add a layer max to it choose our brush tool and make sure that we have our foreground color to be black and then we are going to brush these places over so somewhere around here we are going to brush all of these places that we don't want over like that so that it blends with the background that we are currently having so something like this should be fine so after that we are going to press ctrl l to activate the levels and we are going to darken this one slightly over like that and then we go to filter blur and then we are going to blur this one out as well so the same 15.3 and we click ok afterwards we press ctrl u to activate the hue and saturation and then we can open this one up so that it can shine over there and we go ahead and we click ok so if you turn this one off this is exactly what we're having just like that we go back into our resources please embed it and then we have this particular background that we also got from pinterest so you bring this one in here like that 
we are going to open it up around this area we want the crown over here and that opening door over there so we're going to open it up something like this and then we take our time to position it right over here so somewhere around this place should be fine for us now we're going to right click on this rasterize it go to the blending mode and then we are going to set this to hard light so something like this should be fine and then we are going to add a layer mask to it choose our brush tool and then we are going to blend in with this other background so somewhere around here should be fine so you just paint it off like this and then you can even try to bring it down slightly like that now we are going to add a couple of hue and saturations to this so we brighten this up to make it way brighter like that and then we can come back to this particular layer that we added the screen layer over here we can open it up some more just like this so that it's bright i don't like the way it's not really brightening over here so we can add some more hue and saturations to this just like so to make it brighten some more so let's rename this to three and then the last background image that we're going to add to this will be this particular one that we also got from pinterest i got a lot of images from pinterest today now we're going to open this one up we're going to try to bring it over here just right at this place and then you are going to leave it over there we are going to change the name to four and then we are going to right click and rasterize the layer over here press ctrl shift and then u to turn this one to or desaturate it to black and white and then you go to the blending mode and you are going to set this to overlay now what we can do from here is we can add a layer mask to this and then we are going to brush off all the areas that we don't want something like this should be fine now i can realize from here that the background still looks way lighter so we can go and add the levels to it and then we are going to turn the levels way down like this so that it becomes way darker like this and this is something that i'm looking forward to so we can then position this particular one over here so that it blends with the blacks at the bottom so now we are all good with our background so we can select all of this press ctrl g and then we can rename this background now after you've gotten this background you can actually add a lot of tests to make this look good depending on the number of tests that you want but since this was like a, a project that i came up with myself i just added a few tests to this but you can add more tests to this to make it look nice so for the test we are going to use just one font on this one and that font is called trajan pro so i'm going to select my test select click over here and then i'm going to add the heading so first off we're going to set this to center that is the alignment to center and then we are going to type in something like innocent k boatin ministries i think that is going to be a nice ministry what do you all think so i'm going to press ctrl t to open it up slightly like that select my test tool again and go to the toggle character and then i can open this one up a bit like that now i'm going to select all the test over here and we are going to give it a background color like this or a color like this and then we are going to make sure that we select all of it and position vertically like that so this is going to be the only test that is going to be at the top and underneath over here we're going to write a couple of tests also so we select the test tool so i'm going to select the mystery copy that and then we are going to paste that over here so this font is actually or this test is actually going to be right aligned so i select my move to press ctrl t and then i can open it up slightly like that so we take our time to position it over here and then we're going to select the test tool again open the toggle character and close this one slightly like that so something like this should be fine now we're going to add a couple of effects onto this particular test so you right click on the test go to the blending options and then you're going to add the effect over here so basically is the layer style so the first effect that we add is the bevel and ember so you first check that the box here is ticked and then you can click on it to open the options for you okay so basically since i've already done this it is going to already be there but what i want to walk you through is the style is going to remain in a level we are going to set the technique to chisel hard the direction will be up and then the size is going to be 80 the depth is going to be 
500 like that and then we are going to basically keep the rest of the things the same now we go ahead and add a color overlay to this one and this is the color overlay that we're going to use so after you set that you're going to click ok and then we are going to add an auto glow also onto this one so this is the hex code or the color that we're going to use and then the opacity is going to remain 61 the blend mode is screen and then the spread is going to be 14 and the size is going to be 29 so after you've added this effect onto your test you're going to go ahead and click ok so you can click on this small arrow over here to turn it up or to close the effects that you added let's bring this down here a little bit like that now we are going to make a duplicate of this by pressing ctrl j drag it down over here and then we can right click on the layer and go to clear layer style so basically it is going to get rid of all the effects that we added onto this particular test now we're going to select all the tests and then we're going to type cross so it is going to read like mystery of the cross and then we take it over here press ctrl t and then we can open this one up slightly like that select the, all the tests and go to the color palette and change this one to white bring this one down here slightly like that select that and the mystery of there and then we can position it or push it up small or slightly like this now we can select the cross over here right click and go to the blending options and then we can go to shadow and add a slice of shadow to it so the size is going to be 29 and then the opacity is going to remain 27 but this all of course depends on the test that you are using if the test is small you might have to reduce the size of the drop shadow and if your test is too big you might have to increase it so we go ahead and we click ok and that is going to be the only effect that we will add onto the cross now the last test that we're going to add will be underneath here a scripture so i've already written the scripture over here so i'll copy that back into photoshop i'm going to select a test and remember we are using just one font so i'm going to paste the test over here select all of it and we're going to choose the center for this one actually we press ctrl a and then we make sure that this one is centered now if you can't see this one actually well you can select all of it go to the toggle character and then you can open it up slightly like that so something like this and then we go ahead and we click ok take our time and we position it right over here we can hold alt and drag this effect onto the test and then it is going to add a slice of effect onto this but this looks like it is too small so we double click on the drop shadow over here and then we can add some more drop shadow or increase the opacity for this one and increase the spread slightly like that and we can go ahead and click ok so we can select all of these press ctrl g and then we can name or rename this to test now the last two things that we're going to add will be some elements to make this whole thing look nice so we basically i basically got some elements from png tree and google so the first element that i'm going to bring in is this flying up sparks so i'm going to bring this one over here paste it and then i'm going to send it on top over here i'll press ctrl t right click and then i'm going to flip this horizontally so that the ones at the top will actually go in and now i can bring this one over here if this feels like it is too much for you you can rasterize the layer and then apply some levels on it so that it becomes quite darker and blends with the background that we are using at the top over there and then you can also try to bring it down here slightly like that and we can leave it over here so the last thing that we're going to add will be some sort of sparkles so i got two of them we go to place embedded and then we are going to bring this particular one over here so this is some sort of sparkle effect and then i'm going to bring it down here press ctrl t to open it up some more like that and then we're going to right click rasterize the layer and then we're going to set this to screen over here so that we can have just the white in it go to filter and then blur and then gaussian blur and then we play it out something like that and then we can reduce the opacity if it feels like it is too much for us now it feels like the filter or the blur is too much so let me just go and reduce it slightly like that 
and then we can actually decrease the opacity like that i have another one in there you can try to use that as well and let me know which one worked better for you i think this has been repositioned so let's bring it in the middle like that press ctrl t and let's try to transform it because the scripture is very important and then we position it in the middle like this so we can select the two of these group that and we can call them the elements now let me just try and bring the this particular image over here slightly like that and then i can close my background and just like that we've created a poster or a flyer for good friday or easter festive season this can be used as a flyer it can be used as a poster it can be used as a book cover if you are writing something on easter flyer let me know in the comment section if you'd want to see a video of me turning this into a book cover design that is basically using this same design and add the other side to it to make it look like a book cover and as well if you are somebody that is into um poster making you can use this as a movie poster as well what are your thoughts about this design what do you think could have been done better and don't forget to show your designs to me on instagram i'll be glad to see your designs over there i hope you gained value out of this video if you did a subscribe to the channel will be so very redirecting thank you so very much for sticking around to watch this video please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. It's Innocent here and bye.